So could we maybe start with you maybe talking about, uh, first of all, who you are and what the family connection is? Well, I'm Dorothy Davidson and my mother was Annette Sterling, who the family had come to stay in Wilson Street. Uh, oh, I don't know whether my mother had been born in Wilson Street or not. My mother was born in Scott Street. Was she? Oh, well, Scott Street. I remember that. I, can't, I couldn't remember in that. In 1903, grandfather still went to Wilson Street. Ah. As far as I was My mother was born in 1900. But two years before that, there had been a brother, well, there were a few of them, Jimmy Sterling. And that was the same year as Willie Souter was born. And I think, although the Souter did stay in this house then, the fact there was a connection between his mother and Mrs. Souter, mm -hmm. there would be a visiting, because that's what they did mm -hmm. in those days. Families did visit. Yes, yes. That that was where the connection starts. Mm -hmm. And when were you born? 1928. So you were um, brought, by that stage were you brought here to Yes. Home? My mother came to visit Willie Souter once probably, a month. We probably Willie Souter's mother she came to see more than Willie Souter. Well, yes, mm. possibly, but... And she met, I presume, my older sister, who's now dead, but I presume that we were all at a certain age. She would meet us and bring us down here mm -hmm. to see Willie Souter. And we sat in this room with the bed up there, right, with him sitting it. bolt upright in this raised bed, with this bow tie, black bow tie and a shock of black hair. <laughs> and at the age of seven or eight, it really was rather frightening. Really? <laughs> <laughs> we sat down oh. here, and then uh -huh. the maid brought him a cup of tea and, you know. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And, uh, and do you remember coming here quite frequently? Mm. Well, not frequently, but I remember you know, being here several times, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but it was only for a short time, because once we got, once I would get to a certain age, she would probably bring that one for a certain age, <laughs> and then the younger one, <laughs> you know, once we got past the, the age of being brought, you know, or being met at school maybe. Right. Because we were at Craigie's school down there. I see. So she would meet us at the top of the road and just bring us down. And so, so you'd be brought, and when, when it was that you were brought here, there would be a cup of tea and a glass of milk. Glass of milk maybe. <coughs> and do you remember any of the, the conversations? Were you part of the conversations? Not really, but I, I do. at that age, you, you were seen, not heard. Ah, yes. Let's face it, 1940s, 1939, you were seen mm -hmm. and not heard. But the conversation would be because he kept a diary of everybody who came, and the conversation would be about the people who had come previously because Mother would know them. Well, some of them were well known names, like McDermott. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He came here, I know that. Mm -hmm. But I mean, as far as myself, the conversation there was none. I wasn't here. I wasn't interested. <laughs> Just in whatever was in the. I was brought. On the plate. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was it, it, He was a he was a frightening character to a small child. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. It's interesting because he wrote the Bairn rhymes. Oh yes, yes. Oh yeah. And but some people have stories of of him. Um, giving a riddle and oh yes a yes he, re he read some of these out uh -huh, to us uh -huh. you know because and we had all the books at home when Suter was talked about at school not 
very often in those days because he wasn't mm -hmm. discussed in schools. Not the way he is now, I don't yeah. think. Yeah. Um, it was nice to know that, well, you had the book that you knew what they were talking about. But it's interesting, you have a memory of him being quite fearsome, almost. Well, I think it's when you're at that size and the bed is up there, and he's that up above it. Mm. Uh, and, it's I, a, I suppose and he was white. I mean, uh -huh. he had no colour on his face because no. he was never outside. No. I mean, he was... And I suppose immobile. Yes. No well, animation, no hands moving. By the time we came in the afternoon, he was probably tired. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, we were coming at four o'clock in the afternoon, remember? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I don't think we stayed long. Probably half an hour. When mm. you came to the, the open day that AJ had organised, mm -hmm. um, you must have, it must have been bringing back lots of memories oh, coming yes. into the house again. Oh yeah. yes, uh, yes it did. And we were very interested in the, the posters that were in the room because my uncle was in one of them, wasn't he? Jimmy, uncle Jimmy was in one, the one that knew him. Because when they came back from the war, they'd, they'd both it. been in the war, they both went to Edinburgh University. Ah, uh, well, we'll go through there in a wee minute. Mm -hmm. so you can I mean, there was, quite, there's, there was quite a few of them. There was Willie, Dr. Doctor Lowe. Ah, yes. There was four of them. There was Willie's sister, Dr. Lowe, and another two, but I don't know whether my uncle was in that or not, but he knew him, mm -hmm. you know, there was a connection there. From, from university? From university, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The poetry that Suter wrote, some of it was for children, some of it's mm -hmm. not for anyone. Some of it's in English and some mm -hmm. of it's in Scots. Regarding the Scots language, was that something that that you were aware of? We were um, aware it was written in that, mm -hmm. but we didn't understand it because it was more Scots than Burns. <laughs> it wasn't something that you heard. It wasn't. It wasn't. No. Every day. It wasn't every day spoken. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, in, in if you struggled, you could make out what it was, mm -hmm. but it didn't flow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the, the Scots words weren't something that were in your own family? That, that, that Maybe a kind of order school. Well, well, it might be odd, no. but not really. Not not really. really. They weren't his words, they were our words. Mm -hmm. And as, as we didn't read the poems very often. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they were, you know, he was intelligentsia. <laughs> well, he certainly used a... The dictionaries a lot, I believe, so mm -hmm. you would find, find words, uh, which was an interesting way. Um, but sometimes people say that it was interesting to he see it written down when it's the language that they'd only heard spoken. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering if that's something that you experienced when you were younger. Uh, English language might have been used in certain formal situations and Scots language in other situations. No, uh, we met. The only thing we had, we went house language and we had playground language. Right, well, yeah. what, was, what was the difference? <laughs> I can't remember the difference now. There are certain <laughs> things you said when you were in the playground and you're told you don't use that playground language here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I mean, uh -huh. it was... We were strictly brought up. That I mean, was the I think it, it's no. I think it's. It's like I was listening to somebody speaking about the Spanish language today, and he had been speaking to this lady who came from the Basque country, and he said, "Do you, do you speak the Basque language?" She says, "No, but my family do, but they are taught Spanish." Yes. Mm. Same thing. Mm -hmm. You have the. A language with your pals, mm -hmm. and you have the language of the front parlour. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that right? And that was, and as far as I was concerned, I only remember about coming twice, if it ever, ever. I wouldn't want to come. I would want to get out and 
play football. <laughs> Probably. I mean, I mean, the only thing is, I did come and see his father after his mother died. Mm -hmm. I used to come and see his father about once a month. Came in the back door. Right, right. Never came in the front door. Yeah. But I mean, John Suther, his father, was a wonder, a lovely man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A tall man and a craftsman. Mm -hmm. Well, you can see it. Well, he, he built this, didn't he? Yes. Mm -hmm. The wood is his. It's he was a craftsman. Fabulous. And anything you, mm -hmm. anything like that. I'm glad to see nobody has taken it all out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and I presume next door will be exactly the same because between they were partners in the business, mm 